Okay. We are now in the field. This table. Before I will change to my topic, I want to bring to our beloved king, no other than beloved king Philemon Oriam Bonanza, our supreme founder of the, king, the kingdom of God, who is the source of wisdom that we have now. And also the real family, all members of the kingdom of God, to the provincial leaders, and to all of you there, good evening. It is very much justifiable that today. We are almost at the summit of the appointed time of God. So the consequence of the prophecy can be connected to the prominent fact that left off doubt and suspension. This is because the result of all spiritual therapy. The present Philippines can challenge and proclaim loudly after a careful analysis. According to the scripture of God, chapter 22, verse 23 to 30, of Saint Matthew stated that a woman consecutively married to seven refrain after first died, likewise the second, the third, and to the seventh. After all, the woman also died. The Christian rose up who among the seven had married a woman after the resurrection. Jesus answered no more. This is great as but the same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and reach up said unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, he says, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third, unto the seventh, and the last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, they, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven, for they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Do ye do her? not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. The scripture of God says, The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and as him see, Master, Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up unto his 
brother. Now there were with us seven retreat. And the first, we had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, and left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also. The third, and to the seventh, and the last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seventh, for the all that heard, Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of God, for in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. This was directly translated to some other former learners, leaving away the previous objective of God. So it added more confusion because they arrived the conclusion that no married men and women could be admitted to the kingdom of God. This is very much impractical because the woman is not a living woman today, but it is a nation. The question is, what nation is this? No other promised nation in the world, only the Philippines. Who is engaged to seven brothers from Giza, Roas, Carino, Magsaysay, Garcia, Magapagal, and Marcos. And these are all seven elected presidents of the Philippines. That's why in the fifth testimony and firmly say the Philippines is the promised land of God. That's all. I am your brother, King Wilbert Lebron Dermo from Masbati City, Region 5. And I am very much thankful to all of you. And once again, good night.